solve one problem on heat transfer from composite slab by using electrical analogy method when the slabs are in parallel we will read the given question calculate the heat transfer through the composite wall as shown in the diagram take conductivity of a b c d as 50 10 6.7 and 20 watt per meter kelvin respectively assume one dimensional heat transfer take temperature on one side that is t1 is equal to 800 degree celsius with where the temperature on the other side t2 is equal to 100 degree celsius let us understand the given diagram here different material is given material a b c and d we will assume the heat transfer is taking place from the left hand side towards the right hand side and we will show here the direction of the heat flow so i will show here direction of heat flow in towards the right hand side and here is q now what is the initial temperature so initial temperature t1 is given 800 degree celsius and the final temperature t2 is given 100 degree celsius and the heat transfer is taking place in between this t1 and t2 through the different materials by the conduction process now for this material a conductivity ka is given that is 50 watt per meter kelvin we will consider here the resistance of a that is ra and thickness is given 5 cm so for this whole material a same thickness is the five material now from this material a heat is transferred to the material b as well as material c so if we observe this both materials b and c is in contact with material a now for this material b conductivity kb 10 watt per meter kelvin and for this material c kc is 6.7 watt per meter kelvin and for this b and c having the same thickness 20 cm so we can say that the when the heat is transferred from the material a is getting divided in between this b and c so this b and c are in parallel then again from this b and c the heat is conducted towards t so here resistance for this b r will say r b and resistance for the heat conduction through this material c i will say r c now the heat conducted from this material b and c towards material d so here is the same material having thickness 5 cm and conductivity kd is equal to 20 watt per meter kelvin so i will say here the resistance to the heat transfer through material d is nothing but rd and here is the final temperature for this wall that is t2 now one condition is given one dimensional heat transfer process is taking place now area is not mentioned but here it is mentioned that the one dimensional that is for only one dimension so we will say the heat transfer is taking place along the thickness only now if we consider this heat transfer process is taking place along the thickness then if i consider the area for this material a that is a to the base a is equal to 1 meter square then for this area the heat is conducted that is from this area 1 meter square the heat is conducted to two different materials b and c so we can consider here that is 1 meter square we have to divide into two parts that is the two equal parts for b and c so area of b i will say 1 divided by 2 that is 0.5 meter square in the same way area for c that is a to the base c is equal to 0.5 meter square then again in the same way here for this b and c same material is in contact and for the area of this material d that is a to the base d i will say again 1 meter square 
So this area is not given, but from the diagram we have to decide. Then we will develop the electrical analogous circuit. So how to develop? So here resistance of arterial A that is R A. Now initial temperature is T one. So we have to show. The initial temperature T1 here. So uh, I will show here the temperature difference because this whole uh, conduct heat flow process through conduction is taking place in between T1 and T2. So here I will show T1 minus T2. That is the temperature difference. So how 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 we can take this T1 minus T2 because the heat flow is from the left hand side towards the right hand side so initial temperature is t1 and final temperature is t2 so this direction is important so we have to take here t1 minus t2 now for this t1 there is resistance ra so i will show here resistance ra now this resistance ra then the heat transferred from this material a is getting divided into two parts that is for this material b and material c so what is the resistance of material b that is rb so here we have to divide this into two parts so here is first part and here is second part so this first part is nothing but rb and here is rc so in this way these two resistances are in parallel and then again we have to show this resistance for material d that is rb So this electrical analogous circuit is getting complete. Now we will move for the calculation part. Heat transfer process taking place by the conduction only. So what is how to calculate the resistance for this material A? So R A is equal to this thickness B one divided by K A into A A. So K A is fifty watt per meter Kelvin and area one meter square and thickness is given in centimeter. We have to convert it into meter five into ten raised to minus two. So answer is one into ten raised to minus the Kelvin by watt. Now we will move for the calculation for the resistance in material B R B. So here is also conduction. So it is. If we observe this material B is along this thickness B two that is twenty centimeter, so B two divided by K B into A B. So this given in thickness is given in centimeter, so we will convert it into meter twenty into ten raised to minus two divided by ten into zero point five, which is equal to zero point zero four Kelvin by watt. Then R C. So this material C. Having thickness twenty centimeters, that is twenty into ten raised to minus two divided by K C, that is six point seven into area zero point five, which is equal to zero point zero five nine seven Kelvin by watt. Then for this material R D, having thickness five centimeters, that is five into ten raised to minus two divided by conductivity twenty divided uh, multiplied by area, that is one, which is equal to two point five into ten raised to minus three Kelvin by watt. Now, if we observe here, two resistances are in parallel, so R B and R C. So we have to calculate what is the equivalent resistance for these both. So there is the formula. So one divided by R equivalent loop. So loop means this loop for this R R B and R C. One divided by R equivalent loop is equal to one by R B plus one by R C. So one divided by zero point zero four plus one divided by zero point zero five nine seven. So when we solve this, that is we have to first calculate one divided by zero point zero four. That is equal to twenty five. And here also we have to calculate. Then answer is forty one point seventy five. So this forty one point seventy five is equal to one divided by R equivalent. So what is the value for this uh, resistance for the equivalent loop? So if we transfer this to the left hand side and this forty one point seventy five to the right hand side, then our equivalent loop is equal to one divided by forty one point seventy five, and that is equal to zero point zero two three nine. Now we will calculate the summation of R. So this R equivalent loop that is 
instead of this R B and R C we have to put then R A R equivalent loop and R D R in series. So what is the summation of R? That is R A plus R equivalent loop plus R D which is equal to 0.0274 Kelvin by watt. Now we will move for the question that we have to find out what is the heat transfer pro what is the amount of heat transferred or the heat flow that we have to find out so here one dimensional heat transfer only and we have decided or we have taken here area as a unity that is one meter square so we will take here q by a so for this q by a what is the formula that is the temperature difference so here we have considered the heat flow is taking place from the left hand side towards the right hand side that is initial temperature is T1 so temperature difference T1 minus T2 that is 800 minus 100 divided by we have to take here summation of R that we have calculated 0 0.0274 so what is the value that is 25547.44 watt and this is the answer